2 square root 5 plus 9 square root 5. When trying to add two expressions with square roots, always check to see if you have the same number underneath the radical sign, like we do in this problem. We have square root 5 twice. If that's the case, you should only add the whole numbers together. 2 plus 9 is 11. And then write the square root 5 once only. Do not try to add 5 and 5. 11 square root 5 or 11 times square root 5 is the answer for this problem. Let's try another exercise. In this problem here, we have different radicands, different numbers underneath the radical sign. Do not try to add 12 and 27 together. Instead, you should simplify each square root. For instance, 12 can be written as 4 times 3, but 4 is 2 to the second power, and then we can write times 3. So 12 is 2 to the second power times 3. Also, 27 is 9 times 3, or 3 cubed, because we have 3, 3 times. Instead of writing 3 to the third power here, let's emphasize a square. Let's write 3 squared times 3. 3 squared is 9. 9 times 3 is indeed 27. Now, we can break down this square root into smaller radicals for both numbers. And then the square root of 2 square is 2. Square root 3 stays there. Also, square root of 3 squared is 3, but we should keep the second radical. Now, this problem is very similar to the previous problem because we have the same radicand. We have 3, in both cases, 3 underneath the radical sign. So now we should simply add the 2 with the 3 together. 2 plus 3 is 5. And then copy square root 3. 5 times square root 3 is the answer for this problem. The same rules apply when subtracting expressions with square roots. If we have the same radicand, you can simply subtract the whole numbers. But if we don't, like in this problem, we do not have the same number underneath the radical sign, you should try to simplify and rewrite each square root. For instance, square root 20 is square root 4 times 5, but 4 is 2 to the second power, so 20 is 2 squared times 5, minus 3 times, now let's rewrite 45. 45 is 9 times 5, but 9 is 3 squared. So 45 can be written as 3 to the second power times 5. Now, the 2 goes outside of the square root, so I have 7 times 2, and 5 is only left underneath the radical sign. And for the second square root, this 3 gets out, so you have 3 times 3 times square root 5. Multiply the 7 with a 2 together, so you have 14 square root 5 minus 3 times 3 is 9 square root 5. Now, you have the same radicand. You have 5 and 5 for both expressions. So you can combine these two like terms by subtracting 14 minus 9, which is 5, and then copying the square root 5 once. 5 times square root 5 is the answer for this subtraction problem.